The Lusaka High Court has dismissed the petition by the Patriotic Front PF to restrain President Rupia Banda from filing nomination papers for the September 20 general elections. Filing of nominations for presidential candidates has entered day three, with two more candidates successfully lodging their nominations with the Chief Justice. Two mu musicians and a radio DJ have pleaded not guilty in Ndola Magistrate's Court in the matter where they are charged with one count of allegedly stealing cobalt alloy. And the boxing bout between Zambia's Esther Piri and Mona Lisa Sivanda of Zimbabwe has been postponed indefinitely. Thank you so much for joining us. And now, the news in detail. The Lusaka High Court has dismissed the petition by the Patriotic Front PF to restrain President Rupia Banda from filing nomination papers for the September 20 general elections. Judge in charge, Jane Kabuka, dismissed the PF petition following the preliminary issues raised by the defense lawyers. Judge Kabuka ruled that President Banda, who is the subject of litigation, is not party to the proceedings. She stated that on this ground, any adverse decision on him amounts to breach of, of rule of natural justice. This is in a matter where the PF sought an injunction to prevent President Rupia Banda from contesting the September 20 elections because his parents were allegedly not Zambians. Prior to the ruling, defense lawyers submitted that the action be dismissed. They argued that the High Court has no jurisdiction to preside on controversies on presidential qualifications. The defense lawyers submitted that any controversy on the presidential qualification is the preserve of the Supreme Court. Meanwhile, MMD National Secretary Major Richard Kachingwe has welcomed the High Court ruling. Major Kachingwe told journalists at the High Court today that President Banda will tomorrow file in his nomination papers to contest the presidency. He said that the PF's move to drag President Banda to court on parentage issues was part of the party's scheme to destabilize the nation. But the Patriotic Front PF says it will appeal to the Supreme Court against the judgment delivered in the High Court over President Banda's parentage. PF Secretary General Winter Kabimba told ZNBC that the judge misrepresented herself when she threw out the case. Malicious and uh, it's part of their their code their code named the uh, Don't Kubeva. So they planned a wide range of uh, activities to destabilize the country. One of them to destabilize to destabilize MMD and one of them is this action. And you need to prepare there will be a range of them coming. Uh, but I want to say that uh, this is being unreasonable, and the unreasonableness is uh, corruption of highest caliber, and it's also a cost. It's now costing us, instead of us campaigning peacefully, they had hoped that uh, in the process as we come to court, we'll come with a lot of cadres. They also bring cadres, there will be civil disobedience, but uh, we are very civilized. I just came alone to court with the councils, and we, we, because we are, we are providing leadership to this country about. President Banda is a Zambian and he qualifies. Good thing is, tomorrow we are fighting nomination and we meet in the battlefield. We are immediately appealing and I want to inform our members and the Zambian citizens that we have filed an appeal against the ruling of the High Court this morning. We want to make sure that this issue of the parentage of uh, Mr. Rupia Banda is determined and we are determined to ensure that we take it up to the end. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. The MMD on the Copper Belt has welcomed the decision by the Lusaka High Court to throw out a petition by the opposition PF which sought to restrain President Rupia Banda from filing in his nominations. Provincial Information and Publicity Secretary Yota Mutachalo says the PF petition was trivial and a desperate attempt to sway public opinion. Mr. Mutachalo told ZNBC News in Indola today that the PF is panicking and is trying to buy more time to conduct its campaign and finalize its adoption process. 
the MMD and the entire membership uh, on the Copper Belt uh, overwhelmed with the Lusaka High Court landmark ruling uh, in which PF uh, application to bar President Rupia Banda from contesting these elections uh, has been dismissed. Uh, this is a very uh, serious setback on part of patriotic front. I think uh, they wanted to bank on this particular application uh, to stop President Rupia Banda. Uh, the party in the province and the general membership is solidly behind President uh, Rupia Banda, and we were not moved in any way or distracted by cheap, cheap political uh, tactics which PF wants to, uh, to, to employ. I think the people of Zambia wants PF to tell them what they are going to do once they are in government. Uh, I think these desperate attempts being employed by, uh, by the PF uh, are a fatal exercise because now they have come to realize that actually President Banda and the MMD government are headed for, for, a slide, for a landslide victory. And the ruling MMD in Lusaka province has congratulated President Rupia Banda on the dismissal of the Patriotic Front Parentage case by the Lusaka High Court. Information and Publicity Secretary Greenock Lupambo said the opposition Patriotic Front PF is afraid of President Banda and the MMD and that is why they have been dragging the name of the party and the president in the mud. He told journalists in Lusaka that President Banda is a threat to the PF and its leadership, which has failed to win the presidency in the past. Meanwhile, leadership search executive director Moses Kalonde has castigated the Patriotic Front for taking the issue of President Rupia Banda's parentage to the High Court. As for leadership and development, I will take it that uh, I think uh, this is desperation of the last resort uh, by uh, the opposition Patriotic Front uh, by uh, questioning uh, the parentage of uh, President Rupia Banda and uh, consequently uh, taking him to court. Uh, we feel that uh, I think the Patriotic Front will run out of issues that are supposed to feed the Zambian people, more so that uh, this is an election year, uh, and then uh, the election date has been announced, uh, people are expecting political parties such as the Patriotic Front uh, to be campaigning and uh, then uh, explain to the people what they're going to do for them in case they're voted for in, into office. But unfortunately, what they're doing is that uh, they're trying to divert. Uh, the Patriotic Front knows too well that uh, what has happened is that they've run out of issues, they have nothing to talk about, because each and every issue that they want to talk about, for instance, uh, the road networks, uh, President Banda is doing this. Mr. Rupia Boisan Banda is ready to meet Sata on the battleground. And believe you me, Mr. Arabi Rupia Boisan Banda is granite stone. Mr. Winter Kabimba is a very bad legal advisor to his party. No wonder he has lost all legal battles in this country. MMD continues to maintain and retain all credible leaders, but those with defects have left because we cannot afford to keep morals and infiltrators in our party. So once again, MMD will win this year's elections since the opposition has no capacity and proven ability to rule and govern this country. Patriotic Front President Michael Sata has successfully filed his nomination for the presidency ahead of the September 20 elections. Mr. Sata lodged his nominations before returning officer and Chief Justice Ernest Sakala at 13.15 hours. Justice Sakala declared Mr. Sata's nomination papers valid. The PF leader, accompanied by his wife, Christine Kaseba, arrived at the Supreme Court at 10.15 hours. Mr. Sata was welcomed by his supporters who besieged the Supreme Court premise. And addressing his supporters after filing his nomination, Mr. Sata declared that the PF is ready to contest the election. Mr. Sata urged his supporters to resist provocation, but instead focus on non-violent campaigns. He said his party members will not give the police problems as they campaign. Osaka, 
and the hold of national registration card number 1018. What's today? I would like to assure you that we are going to carry out a campaign without problems. Because we know our police officers are working under very difficult conditions. And we cannot create any more problems for them. But thank you very much. And all of you, you should resist the provocation. There's going to be lots of provocation. But those, it's because of poverty why people can come and start pro troubles for three quarters. Thank you very much. Let's go. Meanwhile, Alliance for Democracy and Development, ADD President Charles Milupi, has become the eighth presidential aspirant to successfully file in his nominations for the September 20 presidential elections. Mr. Milupi, who arrived at the Supreme Court grounds at 14 hours, was declared presidential candidate by returning officer and Chief Justice Ernest Sakala at 16.22 hours. Mr. Milupi was accompanied by his wife, Judith, and several ADD members. And speaking after he was declared a successful candidate, Mr. Milupi promised to deliver a people-driven constitution within 90 days of being in office. Mr. Milupi said his party will embark on a campaign aimed at finding solutions to the problems facing the Zambian people. People. We think that uh, this election has come at the most critical time in the history of this nation. Uh, our nation is wallowing in poverty, especially for the ma vast majority of our citizens. Uh, my heart bleeds for those in rural areas uh, and those in high density townships. The poverty that prevails in these places is uh, scandalous for this country and therefore in this election, we in ADD will use this opportunity to discuss with the Zambian people in every corner of this country the solutions that are possible to get our country to move forward. And the new Revolution Party president, Cosmo Mumba, has withdrawn from the 2011 presidential race after arriving in style at the Supreme Court without cutters. Mr. Mumba's withdrawal brings the number of candidates that have pulled out of the presidential race to two. Last evening, Zambia Direct Democracy Movement, ZDDM coordinator Edwin Sakala and party acting vice president Charles Kafumbo announced the withdrawal of ZDDM from the presidential race and the decision by the party to support the MND. Mr. Kafumbo said the party has already notified the Chief Justice and the Electoral Commission of Zambia about its decision. And new Revolution Party President Cosmo Mumba says he has decided to withdraw because the opposition political parties want to spoil the vote and believes it's time to contest the Revolution presidency Party, is in 2016. Mr. Mumba was speaking to journalists at the Supreme Court shortly after having a brief meeting with Electoral Commission of Zambia officials. For national unity. After the death of President uh, Levi Patrick Mwanawasa, National Revolution Party called for all opposition political parties to get together so that we can form one opposition uh, uh, pact that would be able to unseat the MMD. But uh, we are so shocked with the current uh, number of uh, the opposition political parties that have uh, filed in. So following our meetings with one of the major political parties in this country, following our successful meetings, and we've decided that we are withdrawing our candidature and we will announce after our preferred presidential candidate has successfully filed in. I'm sure we'll be able to meet and maybe this afternoon, we may be able to see each other this afternoon at one of the rallies in Lusaka. So we're informing you that as National Revolution Party, our parliamentary candidates will, feel, will stand, but presidential, we have one preferred uh, presidential candidate that we are going to, that is, we are going to support. So we have decided to withdraw to support Arabi and if anything we believe that our agenda direct democracy 
uh, our people have not fully appreciated what di direct democracy is all about. Because if anything, we are among the most credible players in uh, this election, in the sense that what we want ourselves is not multi-party democracy where you continue fighting one another. We want direct democracy where people can start working together as Zambians from the village level, uh, township level, district level, up to national level. I, we believe that we are all Zambians and there's no reason why we cannot work together. The Opposition Party for Unity, Democracy and Development, PUDD, is disappointed with the high number of political parties that have fielded presidential candidates ahead of next month's general elections. PUDD President Isaac Musonda says some opposition political leaders are time wasters. Mr. Musonda told ZNBC News in Indola today that the opposition political parties will achieve nothing in this year's general elections apart from dividing the votes. He has predicted that President Rupia Banda will win this year's elections as the MMD will capitalize on the weaknesses in the opposition. 17, I think uh, we have to work hard and make sure that we find a way how we can accommodate ourselves. You see, you can't have 17 political parties and uh, all, all those people, they are looking for one, only one seat. You see, we need maybe or two or three political parties so that at the end of it all people they can come up and they can even have uh, they can even choose leaders that will help them in the future you see but at the moment the way we see it, it's like a game each one of those people they are thinking they will just wake up in the morning and uh, then form a political party and that is it you see we need the uh, political parties yes but the number that we have at the moment is too big and at the end of it, oh, we are splitting the votes. Two opposition political party leaders have so far withdrawn their participation in the presidential race with several other political leaders yet to file in their nominations. The MMD has concluded the adoption of parliamentary candidates for Mwansawombwe and Nangoma constituencies. MMD National Secretary Richard Kachingwe says former Science and Technology Permanent Secretary Criticos Mwansa has been adopted to stand in Mwansawombwe while Yvonne Nakachinda will stand in Nangoma constituency. Mr. Kachingwe said the party has also revoked the adoption of candidates in Nakonde, Lupososhi and Mangango. Mwendoi Akakandelwa was initially adopted for Mangango, while Albert Mulonga was adopted for Lupososhi and Clever Silawe was adopted for Nakondwe. He told ZNBC News in a statement that George Sinkala has been adopted for Nakonde, Kelvin Mwansa for Lupososhi, and Taundi Chiseke has been adopted to stand in Mangango constituency. Mr. Kachingwa said the newly adopted candidates should report to the party secretariat for documentation. About 6,000 members of the United Party for National Development, UPND, in Mwembeshi have defected to the ruling MMD. The party members decided to join the ruling party following the defection of former UPND National Chairman and former Mwembeshi Member of Parliament, Edwin Kasoko. Receiving the defectors, MMD National Chairman Michael Mabenga said the MMD has remained stronger and will emerge victorious because of growing support from all parts of the country. Speaking on behalf of the defectors, Mr. Kasoko pledged to support the MMD and campaign for the MMD to win parliamentary seats in Mwembeshi, Nangoma and Mumbwa. Meanwhile, 34 headmen in Mwembeshi have pledged to support the ruling MMD in the constituency. Speaking on behalf of the headmen, Peter Nguenyama said the traditional leaders have chosen the MMD because of the impartial leadership which President Banda has shown. On behalf of the President, President Banda, on behalf of the National Executive Committee of the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, on behalf of the entire membership of the MMD, which is 1.5 million plus members of our party in this country, 
we welcome you wholeheartedly to the MMD, your party. It is only togetherness, it is only togetherness is when the adopted candidate can win. Yes.